Hi there and welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'll show you how you can create a 2D platformer game in Godot without writing a single line of code using the visual scripting language. So before we begin, you can download the complete project of this game. The link would be in the description of this video. So let's have a preview of what this would look like. So I have a window open here currently running the game and here I have my character jumping and moving right and left. You can also see the animations plain perfect. And this was all done without writing a single line of code. So let's begin. So once you create a new project in Godot, you should see a screen like this. The first thing you need to do is create a 2D scene node. So you can head over to the scene tab and select 2D scene. So this should create a node node 2D. Now let's start working on our player. Our player would use a kinematic body 2D node. So select node 2D and we're going to add this as a child node of our node 2D. So with that selected, hit on the plus and kinematic body 2D. Now select the kinematic body 2D and our character would use an animated sprite. So with that selected, click on the plus and then animated sprites. Now we have this warning signs here and that's because we don't have a collision shape 2D. So select your kinematic body 2D, click on the plus and search up collision shape 2D. Now we need to add a shape for our player but before we do that we need to add some frames to our animated sprite. So select your animated sprite node and into the inspector select frames and new sprite frames. Let's click on that and open this up. So I'll head into my characters and I'm using the Kenny Simplified Platformer for this. I would also leave a link in the description if you want to download this assets. So let's start up with our player Idu. So to search up Idu, we have Idu here and I'll drag it in. Now we'll rename this animation to Idu. There we go. Now let's add a new animation for jump. We have our jump and search for jump and drag in jump. And finally our walk animation. So select the new animation and let's rename this to walk. Select both your walk animation by holding down control and dragging it in. So the frame should loop at 5 frames per second. Now we can set a collision shape for our player. But first we need to set the default animation to the idle animation. You can do that in the inspector tab by selecting your animated sprites and setting the animation, the default to idle. That's perfect. Now let's select our collision shape 2D and select a shape. Our shape would be a rectangle. And we can try to cover the play up with this. So with this, we're done with importing our player and our player is ready to have its own script. So let's select our kinematic body 2D node and rename this to player. And let's add a script. So with the node selected, you need to add a script by clicking on this and select the language to visual script. It would create our script as player.visualscript and create this. And we now have a graph here. Next, let's declare the variables which we're making use of in this game. First off, we're going to create a gravity variable. So create a new variable and we'll name this gravity. Our gravity, you can edit member and the type would be an integer int and it would be set to 1500. And you need to export this because we need to make use of it in the inspector. So export and close. Next off, we need to create a jump speed variable so add a new variable and we we'll set this as jump underscore speed okay mr d jump speed edit member and we we'll set this the type as an integer the value we we'll set it's minus 600 and we need to export this once again close next up we need to add a speed variable add a variable speed sign edit member once again we have our type as an integer we have a value set to 2500 and we can also export this okay close and finally our velocity variables so create a new variable and we'll set this as velocity the type would be set to a vector 2 so right click edit member type vector 2 and export this close now we need to create a new function and in this function we'll check for the keys which are pressed. So in functions you need to click on plus and we'll edit member and we'll name this get underscore input. And we have this right here. If 
first thing we need to ensure our velocity dot x is set to zero so select the player drag this into the scene and it would be set as a setter now link the function get input to set velocity so through the line and there we go now we're not setting the x and y of this velocity to zero just the x so you need to select this node and and in the index you need to set this to x so once this function is called it would set the velocity dot x to zero now let's add a condition to check for key pressed condition let's link this to this right click action and for the action select this and we would be using the default input map we have in godot so in action let's start with ui right so to make the player move to the right once right is pressed let's link this as a condition we're going to add our variable speed to the velocity on the x-axis to do that select player and drag in velocity so set velocity and the index will be set to x now moving to the right so we need to add x now link the true to this and we also need to get our speed so select your speed variable and drag that into the scene and link this to the float velocity now to make the player move to the left let's select all this ctrl d to duplicate drag that down and link this from done to this new node now let's modify a few this action ui press we need to set this to left and add we move into the left so we need to subtract on the x-axis and that's all for this so next up add a new physics process function you can do that by overriding um built-in function so click on this and search up physics process float and we have that and next we need to call our function get input so select get input and drag this into the scene you need to link the physics process to the get input next up to make our player obey the laws of gravity we need to set the velocity the y to be the multiplication of gravity and delta now that result is added to the velocity dot y so to do that you need to select player and so select velocity drag this into the scene and we need to link our inputs to velocity now like i said earlier we need to multiply our gravity times our delta so math multiply you can search that up okay so select math multiply and we need to get our gravity so let's take gravity hold down control we need this to be a getter so gravity link this to this and multiply by delta now this won't just be assigned to our velocity dot y we need to add the velocity dot y to this so let's go math add okay select play and we need to get the velocity so velocity hold down control and drag this so this would get the velocity would get the x and y so we need to deconstruct our velocity you can do that by right clicking and deconstruct deconstruct vector 2 we can connect this to this and we can get our y with that connected we can add this and this and the result would be the value of our velocity on the y axis you also need to change the type of this and so i'm going to set this from float to any and connect this to this now let's set our velocity to the y axis so with that selected you can go into the index and set this to y and finally we would make use of our move and slide this should allow the player to move so right click and search up move and slide we have that here so with that selected you can link our velocity dot y to the move and slide sorry about that to the move and slide the linear velocity would be set as our velocity so select player velocity hold down control to make this a getter so with that and link this to this we also need to make use of the next argument which is up direction so select move and slide you need to reduce the number of this by default it's set at five so we need to drop this to four to have access to the up direction so zero on the x and minus one on the y this should make the player go upward so we can save this um I'll rename my node 2 to world sorry world and control s and i'll save this as world save and preview this scene and whoop, we have our player falling down we need to add a platform for our player so back into our 2d scene so let's add a tile map select world click on the plus sign to add a node and we have tile map right there so with tile map selected you need to add a tile set so in the inspector tile set new tile set select your tile set and your platform pack so I'll drag this into the scene and now you need to click on new single tile and select this region with the tile in it 
You should see all the options once you have a region selected. So we need to set collision and select a rectangle and select this regions right there. So the player should be able to collide with this tile map now. So with that done, select tile map and we can now paste our tile map. I'll come somewhere around here and boom, boom, boom. And we have that there. Now we need to move our player, but you need to make sure the child modes are not selectable. You can do that by selecting player, clicking on this right here. So with that, we can now drag our player and preview this. And our player should fall on the platform. We can now move. Now let's add some jump controls for our player. So close this and back into our visual script. Let's go there. To create a jump, we check if a key is pressed and the player is on the floor. So we can do that by searching up condition. And we need to connect this to this and the condition will switch up an action with our action node selected you need to set the action to ui up and link this boolean to this boolean next up we add in a new condition and drag that so once this is true we check this and now the condition we'll be checking for is if the player is on the floor so you can right click and search up is on floor now if the player is on floor it should return True. Now once this is true, we need to set our velocity.y to our jump speed. So select player and velocity, drag our velocity into the scene, set velocity. You need to set the index as the y and link this to this. And once again, select your player, drag in um, jump speed, hold down control to make it a getter. So with that, and this would be the value to set the velocity.y. Okay, so now we have another problem. If we walk up to the edge of our platform, take note of how fast our player falls off the platform. Look at that, that was super fast. Now the problem there is that it keeps on adding on the Y axis. So to solve that, at the moment, the solution I have is to only add to the force that pulls the player downwards once the player is in the air. And once the player is on the floor, it stops all forces. So to do that, we'll close this and head back here. So let's add a condition right here condition and we disconnect our set velocity from that and let's right click search for is on floor so is on floor that would be the condition we'll be checking for so if the player is not on the floor that's when it adds to the velocity dot y but if the player is on the floor then it jumps the velocity dot y and just heads to the moving slide so we'll link our get input to this condition and we have something like this and we can preview this okay our player is not falling and okay our condition should be when this is done and not when it's true the player can't really fall when it's on the floor so this should work now preview and we have this our player walks jumps and if we go to the edge it falls um normally we now have a very basic platformer game in godot in the next part of this um, tutorial I'll show you how you can flip your player horizontally and also play um, the animations which we created in our animated sprite node so thanks for watching i'll see you guys in my next um, tutorial don't forget to like subscribe and share you can also check out my patreon account and download the project and by downloading the project you help in supporting um, the channel and help me make more tutorials like this thanks for watching i'll see you guys in my next tutorial